Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the farm. This is our last week with two batches of chickens. So I've got these seven week old Cornish cross going on eight. We will be processing them next week. And that is a fantastic feeling because I am getting sick of processing chickens this year. We'll be doing right around a thousand by the time we are finished with these last two batches. And uh, we are done. I'm done processing. It's getting to be a long, long season. You can close that door up, bud. After that, we'll have another two weeks and then these little guys here will be our last chickens for the year. So Jamie and I have been going over some numbers and we are considering making some changes to our farm for next year. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Isaiah and I got chores to finish up. We're gonna kind of talk about the future of chickens on our farm. Since we're here, we may as well start with meat chickens. This was our first year that we kind of went all in seeing how or if we could make a profit and we did make a profit. We're not done. We still got freezers full, but these are our last two batches of chickens. But as of right now, and I don't know if it's just because it's the end of the year and we are burnt out with meat birds, we are thinking we might just cut back and raise enough for our family. So that's where we're at right now. Decisions may change in the future but uh it has been a ton of work and there has been a profit but the profit hasn't really seemed enough to justify doing this again when we first started we we went to we were just considering ourselves a homestead raising food for our family um we wanted to uh make it a little more profitable see if it could be a full-time thing and i don't want to raise twenty thousand chickens so i mean we were just hoping for a nice little bump. But after going the, over the hours we put in and the profits and cost of feed and everything else, we are thinking right now that we may just raise for our family next year. Um, go back to kind of a homestead thing where we're just providing enough for ourselves. So like I said, as of right now, that seems like it might be the way we're going to go. And I don't know if that's just because we are meat bird burnt out. But uh, either way, we'll have food for ourselves. We're not sure about markets next year. Um, a lot of that has to do with our egg layers too. And we're going to head back and let them out now so they can get out and eat. And we'll talk about the direction for our egg layers as well. But as far as meat birds, if we had to pick today, we're just going to raise enough for our family. Let's go back and check out the egg layers. Back here with the egg layers, you want to get those nesting bars down, bud? So, egg layers. We have made the decision, and like I said, you know how chickens go. This may change too, but we are going to get rid of our egg layers. The amount of money, we want our animals to pay for themselves at the bare minimum, and they've been doing that if they've been at full production um last three weeks or so we have not yesterday we got 12 eggs which is ridiculous with this amount of chickens we've got a lot of them start molting um we've been trying different things so 
like I said, the margins on the profits for egg layers are very slim. When they were at full production, we were making a couple hundred bucks a month after we paid for their feed. But then on weeks where we wouldn't get full production, we're losing money. So we're thinking about going back down to uh, just a homestead size chicken, uh, chicken amount, I guess you could say, and uh, making sure that we have enough eggs for our family, maybe hatching out some. Uh, we're gonna get away probably from the sex length breeds and go more towards a dual purpose breed. We don't want a bunch of broody chickens. We know that's gonna be a possibility when you get into the dual purpose breeds. This chicken is chasing, I can't show you. It was chasing the light coming off the camera. <laughs> but uh, that's kind of our thought with these guys. There's not a lot, whole lot of money, especially at the size we had at full production. We probably had 120 laying hens. We've been losing a few here and there. We've got some that are two and a half going on three years old. So they're getting towards their peak production years anyway. So we are going to get rid of our older hens, keep enough for us, maybe 20 or so to lay through the winter. We've got our younger hens banded so we know which ones they are. And uh, that's kind of the route we're gonna go. We're going with some dual purpose breeds. We're not gonna get rid of chickens, of course. Everybody loves chickens. But uh, so we're gonna keep some of these for the winter. We're gonna get rid of our older laying hens. A lot of people like them for stew hens. And uh, that's a, kind of moving forward, that's what we're going to do. We're kind of, like I said, as of now, um, we're kind of getting away from the market side of the farm, which I know we've met a bunch of great people and uh, we have people that will still come out to the farm and get some things of what we have available. But we're thinking about moving away from doing markets full time. So it's just, it's hard. It's hard. Like I said, when they stopped laying, Isaiah came out last night and got 12 eggs and uh, that doesn't cut it when our bags of feed are about 16 bags of feed and everyone says you can go to the Amish mills, you can go here and buy in bulk. Well, we don't have places that are within two and a half hours of us. Uh, we feel we get a pretty decent price. We have a pretty good feed, we feel. And uh, so all those options just really aren't on the table for us. So we're gonna lower our chicken flock. We've talked about some birds we we're gonna add. We'll go over and show you some of them that we have on the farm and we've got more coming this week so they're the same breeds we have over there let's go check out our chicks in the brooder all right guys heading into the brooder i'm um, talking about what we're gonna do since we said we're getting rid of our egg layers we've got a hundred brown sex links and these guys are fantastic layers um, lay about 280 eggs per year these ones are already five weeks old you can see with the meat birds out of here they really don't mess this up as much but they do kick those shavings into their water so since we have these hundred our plan was to continue with egg layers but our our uh, profits are so marginal and like i said when they stop laying it just is not worth it so we are actually going to sell these chicks We've got them listed now, um, which they've only got uh, 15 weeks and they'll be laying. But uh, for our farm plan, we're gonna go ahead and move away from them. So we've got a list for sale. If you're close and you want some egg layers, um, we are going to get rid of them. We got 50 over here and 50 in the other brooder. Um, they're good chickens. It's just like I said, our, our plans are changing just a little bit, so. We got these with the thought that we're gonna revamp our egg layers for next season, but we're moving away from that. So what we are going to, and I showed you these last time and some of you guessed what they are. We're going back to a dual purpose. Like I said, these guys are a little skittish. Let me get this up here. Going back to a dual purpose breed. Uh, they don't lay as many eggs, um, but we're gonna hatch out some eggs and just enjoy chickens again and not be stressed about making a profit on them. 
Um, some of you guys guessed it correctly, so I'm going to tell you what they are. The black ones are black Australorps. Supposed to be great layers. Don't go as broody as often as other dual purpose breeds. We'll see. This is the first time I've ever had black Australorps. And the other ones, these are just roosters in here, but these are the Bielefelders. And we've done a bunch of videos about how we thought the Bielefelder was the best dual purpose chicken. Um, those are all males in here. We were thinking about crossing those. And once we decided to go away from uh, the sex links and stop trying to make money on eggs, um, we've ordered more Bielefelder hens and we've ordered a couple black Australorp roosters so we can hatch out purebred chicks and we can also cross them in the future. So those will be coming at the end of the week. I'm sure we'll have a video about that when they get here. But uh, I'm kind of excited again. Um, it's kind of stressful needing them to lay all the time just so we could pay for feed and everything else um so i'm kind of excited to enjoy chickens again that's the hope anyway and uh not have so many um we've obviously got the brooders we've got the chicken tractors we've got the chick shaws and the roll away nest boxes so we have everything we need we're probably not getting rid of that kind of stuff just because if we start hatching out and we need other pens to put these uh, the chicks in that we hatch out, I'm kind of excited to hatch eggs again. It's been a long time since we've done that. Um, so anyway, that's our plan with the chickens. Our feed has been taking a little bit longer because we've been walking around talking. The pigs are looking at us with a side eye. So uh, that's the plan with chickens. We're kind of going back to the homestead approach where we provide for ourselves. If we have any extras, we have normal, regular customers that come out to the farm if we have extra um so that will hopefully help pay for a little bit of the feed but it won't be a need we don't need that in order to pay for these chickens so excited about that let's go get some of these pigs fed so they don't uh think we don't love them anymore All right, we are in here with the, some pregnant hussies, not everybody, but uh, Jelly Bean, starting to show a little bit. Uh, Josie, she looks a little bit farther along. Millie, Millie's kind of the resident bully. Not so much bully, but she definitely likes to be up on my heels all the time when I'm feeding Willow, who I think looks kind of the farthest along. How you doing, Willow? She's also our hose drinker. <laughs> and penny so we got about another month a little over a month uh end of october beginning of november when these girls are due and we'll start moving them over hey march we'll start moving them over but exciting times five litters at least these girls are starting to show the new girls remember they were supposed to be possibly bred a little harder to tell let's check them out all right here are the new girls and like i said they were possibly bred when they came they're in with some boars um none of them look obvious to me as being bred but there's always a possibility sometimes they don't show very much until right close to their due date if i had to guess i would think that nobody is or they've got a little ways to go yet which is fine We've got five, we got six stalls in our farming barn. We have five sows that we know are bred for sure. So, but just an update, these are bigger pigs. Sometimes on the bigger pigs like Miss Mabel here, it is hard to tell right up until the end when their milk starts to come in. And uh, that makes it a little easier. But as far as guaranteed, I wouldn't say any of them are guaranteed to be bred right now. And that is okay. So anyway, we will have fall piglets might not be any of these girls but we've got five that are ready to go isaiah just checked their wallow it's empty so we're gonna get that filled up so just wanted to give you guys an update on our chicken change we're making the change on chickens um and i think it's for the better like i say we we're kind of getting stressed pouring all that feed into them and not getting eggs to pay for that feed it just doesn't make sense so 
as of right now who knows you guys know it always changes as of right now we're gonna just enjoy smaller flocks use them for personal use and uh hatch out some chicken eggs so that'll be fun upcoming here in the next few seasons so we appreciate you guys following along hope you enjoyed today's video hope you guys are having a great week so far we'll check you out on the next video make sure you make the change